Hi, this is a, a presentation to show you how to create a database and manipulate it using the SQL Server uh, Management Studio GUI tools. So first, I've opened up SQL Server Management Studio uh, from start. All programs uh, SQL Server Management Studio because I set it up in my start menu. Uh, if you are not aware of where this is when you installed it, uh, please send me a message and uh, we can do a collaborate session and I can help you find out. But if you're able to open it, uh, you will see something similar to my screen here, uh, showing that my server is started. I have a little green icon here. And my server is on my computer called Sagan, and the name of uh, my database server is SQL Express. So here I'm going to expand databases. Uh, probably the only thing that you have is system databases, unless you've created one. These you don't want to manipulate. Uh, those are used um, by SQL Server, uh, and we can explore those later. Let's go ahead and leave that closed. Let's click on databases so it's highlighted. Right click, and you'll see new database. Click on that. And here you get a dialog to set up your database. A uh, database name can be anything you want it to be as long as it is unique. Uh, so I'm going to put in here exercise one. Uh, owner, you can change this to be a specific login. Since we haven't uh, talked about logins yet, we're going to leave it default. And your database files go into a default location. We're going to leave those the same. Just initially, we're not going to mess with any other properties, we're going to click OK. Okay, so then you would expect to see that database show up. Yours is probably going to show up right here because I have a bunch of databases. It shows up here. Uh, so I'm going to expand this. So when I hit that plus button next to the database, I see everything within that database. This is where I'm going to be working. I'm going to ignore everything else. Uh, here I have a tables folder. So I'm going to expand that. There's system tables and file tables. I'm not going to mess with those. I'm going to add my own tables. So I'm going to right click on tables, do a new table. I'm going to get a dialog for this. And here I have the ability to set up my columns and the data type for my columns and whether or not I want to allow nulls. So if you look in your book, uh, all of these instructions are in Chapter 12, How to Use the Management Studio for Database Design. And they talk you through the table designer uh, and how to create and modify a table. So what I did is I right-clicked and did New Table. And I can set up the properties here. Uh, let's say I want um, a column in this table uh, Let's say this is the table for books. So I want ISBN. And let's say that I want this to be a far car. I can type that, but let me use the drop down to make it easier. Far car, and I'm going to make this 200. I don't want to allow nulls. That says whether or not you have to have data in that column if you have a row. I want to have data in that column if I have a row. And I'm going to put title. I'm going to make that a bar cart as well. And let's make that 200. Not allow nulls. So this is not a complete table at this point. Um, but I have two columns, so I clicked save, and it says choose a name for the table. So here I'm going to put book. OK. So you'll notice I've saved this, and I have the, the columns and such displayed here, but I don't see it on the left-hand side here. And that's because I need to refresh. Now I can refresh the whole database or tables. So let me just refresh. And it's just refreshing the display. So then when I expand tables, I see that I have a book table. It's prefixed with DBO because that's the default schema, the default owner 
uh, of, of all of my tables if I don't specify it. We're going to leave that DBO for now, and we'll discuss that uh, in a later week. So if I expand that table, I have columns, keys, constraints, triggers, indexes, and statistics. I'm going to expand columns, and there I see my ISBN and my title columns. Now, I have not specified a primary key yet or any foreign keys. I don't have another table, so I can't specify a foreign key right now. Um, but I do want a primary key on all tables. Uh, so if you look at your book on page 371, uh, it tells you how to use the designer. So we're going to do that. So here it says to right click on the table and click design. Oh, let me close this so that's more obvious. There we go. So that will display this at any point in time uh, if, if you want to get back to edit the details of the table. And then to set the basic properties for the columns, um, you can just change them right in here like we did before when we added one. Um, but if you want to set the uh, primary key, you want to select the column totally. So instead of clicking in one of these areas, I want to click right here on the side to highlight the whole row. You see how that arrow shows up and everything's in blue. So if I select here and I right click here, I can set a couple of different properties. So I want to set this as the primary key. I choose set primary key. And then I get a little key icon here. I'm going to save this. Make sure you save. And then I'm going to refresh this again. I'm going to right click. This time I'm, oh, highlighted it. This time I'm just going to refresh at the table level. And I'm going to see the same columns here. But this time ISBN shows up as a key. And my keys, what I meant to uh, click on, shows me primary key book. That's the default naming for the primary key if I don't want to change it. So this shows you how to set up one table and a primary key on that table. What I want you to submit once you get your final design uh, together with all of your tables, all of your columns, your primary keys, and your foreign keys, is I want you to expand all of these areas to, and take a screenshot to show me that you've set it all up correctly. So your book takes you through after 371, you go through 373 to do the foreign keys uh, and create the additional tables. If you go through the exercise that they have, you'll have everything that you need uh, to create your week four library database design. And that's the assignment for week six. Please let me know if you have any questions.